Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we're on the website of 1818 Auctioneers based in the UK. We're going to have a look at their latest auction which is Musical Instruments and Equipment. A very small auction this, about 52 lots only. Uh, so we'll just quickly run through it and see if there's anything interesting. Uh, just to say this auction finishes on the 10th of September, it's the 2nd today, so you've got a few days left to go. I'll put a link in the description as always. Buyer's premium, 22.5%, so that's what you pay on top of the final hammer price. Uh, this is a UK-based auction, so bear that in mind if you're trying to bid from overseas, import, export, maybe CITES restrictions as well. Um, yeah, so without further ado, I think let's just crack on and see what we have. Just to say, if you do enjoy these videos, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, because that all does really help and would be much appreciated. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So first of all, we've got a Peterson concert guitar. 1977 so um actually interestingly i've got a peterson uh classical guitar harold peterson i think um and they are very nice guitars i'm not sure if mine's a model a or maybe a different model i can't quite remember uh, but they are pretty decent um i'm not sure if this is that he made some up to a point and then i think he passed away and his son carried on so i'm not quite sure on the dates but these are fairly decent picture is not so good so we can't really 100 percent tell what is uh, going on there unfortunately but opening bids of 290 500 to 800 estimate that seems fairly realistic for for this so we'll skip on there oh, next lot Vintage Taurus classical guitar, I don't think there's anything in that one. A modern banjo ukulele. Okay, £16 opening bid, 30 to 50 is the estimate there. A vintage banjo ukulele. Label to reverse of headstock for Clifford Essex, 50 to 80, the estimate on that. Vintage bandy, banjo mandolin there. 50 to 80 two modern banjo ukuleles 30 to 50 estimate on that vintage band banjo ukulele labeled keech 50 to 80 on that vintage banjo ukulele with floral decorations 30 to 50 an unbranded octave mandolin mandola having wine red finish with extensive mother of pearl inlay I suspect that this is a kind of modern Chinese instrument. Um, interesting kind of looking uh, thing, if nothing else. Interesting butterfly tailpiece. Uh, current bids are 120, 2 to 300. Interesting. Richwood mandolins, so low kind of quality uh, mandolin there, 100 to 150. Alvarez baritone guitar, okay. 80 to 120. Gear for Music Les Paul sets a budget guitar there, left handed, 20 to 30. Cruiser by Crafter, left handed guitar, and then a similar Encore guitar, 30 to 50, all very low tier stuff. 1993 Epiphone PR400 acoustic, it's again nothing too crazy there, 100 to 150. Vintage Simar uh, classical guitar there. 50 to 80, nothing too exciting. They did make some pretty interesting electric guitars, so similar. Uh, a few of them around. Tanglewood TSB 58 electric guitar. 2 to 300. Vintage Kasuga classical guitar there. 30 to 50, nothing too crazy. Oh, a metronome, that's kind of curious. 19th century or early 20th century metronome. Not seen one like that before, so that's curious. 40 to 60 on that picture is not so great. Guitar tuner, I think we can go past that one. Interesting, vintage effects pedal, Tube Mania by Arian MDI1 in original box. Interesting, 30 to 50. They're quite interesting vintage pedals, those Arian ones. Whole load of Elixir strings there, 50 to 80. Behringer X Air XR12 channel wireless mixer. Marshall practice amp valve state 20. A KME Quattro combo amplifier, not a make that I'm familiar with. Watson practice amp, nothing too crazy there. Keyboard stands. 
Vox AV30 combo with foot switch. Yamaha 100 B212 guitar combo. Interesting looking amp. Late 70s or early 80s, 100 to 150. An Artley clarinet with accessories, 50 to 70. A traditional silvered flute stamped Rushworth, 20 to 30 on that. A traditional silver flute stamped Corton, 20 to 30 on that. A traditional silver flute stamped Emerson, USA, 30 to 50 on that. A modern violin having one piece 14 inch back labelled Bellolino, okay. 50 to 80, the estimate on that, that I would also suspect is definitely a modern Chinese violin, but looks nice enough. Traditional violin, overstained with hard case and bow, unlabeled, 30 to 50, the estimate on that. Once again, looks like it's had some work done to it, very difficult to kind of tell what's going on there. As they say, it looks like it might be over varnished a bit, 30 to 50 on that one. Traditional brass trumpet, okay, 30 to 50. A JTL Lamy trumpet with case, 30 to 50. A selection of clarinet parts, wooden recorder, etc. Okay, bits and bobs there, 10 to 20 on that. A box of zithers, Ooh, 30 to 50. Not my favorite instruments. Three symbols, including a paste 200, 16 inch crash. Okay. Some lights, interesting. Selection of effects pedals, 20 to 30 on that. Let's see what we've got here. Marshall, Rock Tech, interesting stuff. A wire pedal there. Hard to see exactly what's uh, going on there. But uh, 20 to 30 on that seems pretty fair. Estimate a Ruddle Cart and Co. Starline Clarinet 40 to 60. Breezing Hawks Imperial Clarinet there 40 to 60. A traditional Blackwood Clarinet stamped Noble Paris 40 to 60 on that. Traditional Blackwood Clarinet stamped Noble 40 to 60. Bids on that, so people are obviously interested in clarinets. Two more clarinets, just in Rampone and Colert. So, well, 40 to 60, that's already on 120, so one of those must be fairly decent. I don't have enough knowledge of clarinets to know. Two case clarinets, Gear for Music and Le Maire. Let's see what else we've got. Two case clarinets, Bougie and Hawks and Ruddle and Cart. So lots of clarinets. Yet more, two case clarinets, Le Maire and Ruddle Cart. And another two case clarinets with very little information there. A Yanagisawa saxophone of small proportions, curved soprano, three to five hundred. The estimate will do. Wow, bids of six forty. Okay, interesting. A Slade saxophone of small proportions, one hundred to hundred fifty. Let's see what's going. On. I think that might be it. I think that is the end of the auction there. So really tiny little auction. Just going over to see. Looks like there might be some half decent clarinets potentially. Um, definitely a decent ish classical guitar, probably a decent saxophone there. So, a few things of kind of interest. Um, so, not a bad auction, it's just a small little kind of auction. They do lots of different kind of stuff. Um, so, they're not a specific musical instrument auction house. So, yeah, as it goes, not too bad. So, I'll put the link in the description as always. Check it out, see what you think. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Ciao.